If you want to sell something online, then this video is going to be for you. We're going to compare two very contrasting tools and talk about which one you should use if you want to sell online. So the two tools are Shopify, the powerhouse, the e-commerce powerhouse versus Card, the one-page website builder. Now with Card, we're going to add something else to this in order to create an e-commerce platform. But let's start with Shopify and talk about what this platform is and why you might want to consider using it. Shopify is known for this powerhouse when it comes to e-commerce platforms. It has everything you need in order to create an online store to sell physical products and also digital goods too. And if we just take a look at their website, you'll see why this is such a big platform. So millions of entrepreneurs choose Shopify, has millions of merchants worldwide, 444 billion in global economic activity and it's 10% of US e-commerce. And if we click the solutions tab at the top, it just talks about how we can do things like sell products, check out customers, sell online, sell across channels, accept online payments, um, manage itinerary, etc. So Shopify is the name most people think about when it comes to creating your own e-commerce platform. So where does card play into all of this because you can see you can create simple free fully responsive one page sites for pretty much anything so the idea with this one is card is a one page website builder it's not an e-commerce platform as it's saying here and as you can tell from the pricing to go pro is 19 dollars per year and you get access to all their features like custom domains you get forms widgets and embeds and in fact this is what we're gonna talk about in a second. So how do we turn Card into an e-commerce platform? Well, we can use something like Gumroad. Now, Gumroad is a tool that you can use in order to upload digital products or upload physical products that you're going to deliver and then have people go through the checkout process and have those things delivered to them. And you can see here it says sell anything, video lessons, monthly subscriptions, physical products, etc. So which one should you use when it comes to selling something online? Obviously, this depends. Now, if we go back to Shop Shopify, and a good place to start is with pricing because pricing is going to tell you how much it's going to be per month and also what you're going to get. So most people, when they're starting something to sell online, let's say it's a digital product, you'll go to the basic for solo entrepreneurs. So you can see here it's $29 per month. You get um, these type of features here. Now, if you want to learn more, you need to go to the full list of features. And I'm not going to go through all the features on Shopify, all the features on Gumroad. But a good way to think about it is with Shopify, you're going to get this online store. So you're going to have the ability to build an online store as your website. With Card and Gumroad, you're going to have to try and finagle it in order to have the Card website and integrate Gumroad into that website. With Shopify, you're also going to have uh, shipping as well. So shipping is built into this, shipping labels, um, up to 77% discount for delivery. The payment system is something a lot of people trust when it comes to Shopify. So you have the shop app that people use when they're buying online. And if we go back to the price, we can see there's basic, the Shopify, advanced and plus. And these are things that are just going to allow you to grow into this. Now, as an example, this is a shop called littlechunk.com. And they have created this dog backpack in order for people to carry their dogs around. And this is a site built on Shopify. So everything is integrated here. And if you just scroll down, you can see it's quite advanced. It's very well designed. There's a lot of color on here as well. And when you go to shop and just say this one and you add to cart, this is all created through the Shopify website. So going back to Shopify, we believe this is great if you want to build an e-commerce website and one that you want to grow with. Now, on the other hand, if you're looking to create a product to see how it does, if you're looking to create your first digital product, an ebook, or if you're looking to sell something online without spending a lot of money to begin with, then you can always start with Card and Gumroad as a way to put something out there and see how it goes. Now, a lot of entrepreneurs still use Gumroad as they expand, especially if they're doing digital products. And if we go to pricing, you're gonna see it's a 10% flat fee. 
meaning that you're not spending 30, 50, $100 a month just to have this online store before making your sale. So with Card and Gumroad together, you're looking at $19 a year plus the 10% flat fees for anything that you sell. Also note with Gumroad, you can implement this into other websites too. So it's not just Card. You can build a Webflow website and have that integrated into Gumroad as well. So the platform that you use will depend on what you're selling, if you are looking to scale with pace, and also just what you feel comfortable doing. Now, the good news is that if you decide to go with something like Card and Gumroad to begin with, you can always go to Shopify later if you get your own custom domain, because you can just point that custom domain to the Shopify platform, and then you're good to go with that. So we want to know your thoughts if you're using these two platforms, which one you would consider as well. And then also check out the description for more comparison videos and more videos about how to get set up using Card. You can also look at a video we made on Shopify versus Gumroad directly. And if you're interested in building something with no-code tools and go to noCode.mba and get access to our 60 plus curated courses that allow you to build apps, automations, websites, and more. And if you want to get started with a free guide, then go to nocode.mba slash guide to get this guide to no code tools. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this and please like the video and share it and be sure to subscribe if you're new. Bye for now.